Shalom, Acts 17, 17, and 18. So he reasoned in the synagogue with the Jews and the devout persons and in the marketplace every day with those who happened to be there. Some of the Epicurean and Stoic philosophers also conversed with him. And some said, what does this babbler wish to say? Others said, he seems to be a preacher of foreign divinities because he was preaching Yeshua and the resurrection. Paul's desire was always to see people saved, no matter where he met them. He would always try the Jewish people first, whenever he landed, wherever he landed. But he quickly included whoever was in the vicinity. He expected pushback and even humiliation, but he never deviated from preaching Yeshua and the resurrection. Without Yeshua's death, there's no hope for redemption. But without his resurrection, he is no better than all the false teachers and false messiahs. Preach him. Preach him fully. Preach him always. Be blessed.